Hi everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and I am here with an artistic studio creation design team project. Um, and today we are using our Stamperia cardboard mixed media album um, for mixed media and scrapbooking. And this is a like MAGA album, just so you guys know. Uh, it is a hollowback. Let me show you. It is a hollowback, so it allows for papers to lay fairly straight while you're working with them um, and it does close completely so that's that one and then we have a Zuri mold and it's called Mercurial Beast and I did him with a resin that didn't really set up that great um, and then some glitter uh, but what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue him on the front of my mixed media album using, um, I think I'm going to use, you can use E6000, that would probably be the best, but I don't have any sitting in front of me, so I'm going to try to use some Fabri-Tac. Uh, we're going to put him right here, and then we're going to paint this up, so... I'm doing this at night <laughs> so I can share this with you the next day because obviously I won't be able to do anything with him until he dries. And I think we're going to go dark with this one. We're going to go dark, black, maybe some gold or silver accents. But I want to use him and not just have him laying around. Okay, so there he is. He's glued on there and now I just gotta wait for him to dry before I do anything. I think. I want him level and then I'm going to put some stuff on top of him so he lays down flat. Um, again, this is the cardboard album from Stamperia or Stamperia uh, for mixed media. And this is the, uh, I think this is the smaller one. It's a 21.5 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters. It has seven pages, so it measures six by like eight and a half, eight and a three quarter. And this is the first time I've ever done anything quite like this, so stay tuned. So I have allowed the paint to dry, or the glue to dry, and this project is going to take several days between drying time. So I thought we better start with the painting. Now, I do want everything to be black on the outside, so I think I'll make this entire thing black. I have my craft Teflon, um, my craft, the Teflon craft mat available on ASC. I just got some scrap plastic from my packaging and some acrylic black paint. Now, my favorite, favorite acrylic paint is the um, fresco finish paint, but I do not have a black, so I'm using this old goopy Liquitex black paint and a giant paintbrush. And let's begin. So I figure that um, at some point in time I'll probably put extra texture on it, but I don't know what that's going to be yet, so I haven't explored those options I can always go back and add that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make everything black and then go back in and add highlights and low lights and such I'm not a professional painter nor artist so this is just my interpretation 
of what I want this Mercurial Beast Stamperia Mixed Media Journal to look like. Okay, so I got a few layers of black paint on this, making sure not to um, have too much buildup and lose any of the detail on the Mercurial Beast, which I think I succeeded. And now I'm going to take the Light Body Metallic Acrylics by uh, Lumiere, Lumiere and um, some white for dry brushing. I think we may have to wait to dry in between and this is going to be just a real light um, accent color and then the dry brush of course should be light too so we're just going to I'm actually dipping right into the lid and just start highlighting the raised areas And I say highlight, but if you just go over the whole thing with a light coat, you're going to get your highlights. I should specify that. And then I think what I'll do is maybe do some spray on the back. Some silver, or this is more of a pewter. Yeah, this is pewter. 551 pewter. It was available on Crystal Shop. She still has it or has restocked it. And you can see how that is looking like a dirty metallic. I say dirty, but like maybe antique metallic. I think it's going to be a pretty cool um, journal, art journal. I do believe that the um, undercoat of black is necessary. Um, it may look like I'm covering the whole thing up with this pewter, but I'm really not. It's a lot of the black is showing through. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and flick this. So I'm going to take my pewter, add water, And let it dry. 
Okay, the Lumiate Air uh, pewter dried pretty quick. So now we're going to go on to our dry brush and we're going to call it a finished front cover. And then maybe go on to the insides. Um, but not today. So I just have some dry wet dry white paint and a tissue and just making sure there's not like hardly anything on here. Okay. 